Dutch Lady Milk Industries Berhad is a Malaysia-based dairy company. The company operates through the manufacturing and distribution of a range of dairy products segment. It is engaged in providing specialist powders for infant and growing children and liquid milk in different packaging, formats, and yogurts. Dutch Lady Milk Industry was previously under Royal Christian Food, a Netherlands-based multinational cooperative. Dutch Lady Malaysia is currently a subsidiary of Friesland Campina, which was formed in December 2008 as a result of the merge between Friesland Foods and Campina. Okay, next we move on to levels of management. And as you can see there, there is a pyramid and the top one it is owner. And the second one it is marketing or sales director, human resources and finance director. And the third one you can see it is operations director and the last one it is sales club. Okay, here it is the skills involved for the types of managers. For owner, owner is responsibilities for defining the business's goals, vision, mission, objectives, plans, and strategies. Also, owner it is in charge of providing direction for the business. It is mean that the owner is the head of the company. For marketing or sales director, the responsibility is to manage research and coordinate all the sources of information to retain the business's best customers and attract new ones. And also, they're in charge in of making new plans and executing the plans for expanding sales. For finance director, the responsibility is to driving the financial planning of the company by analyzing its performance and risk. They also retaining constant awareness of the company's financial position and acting to prevent problems. And for human resources, they are in charge of the recruitment and selection process and interviewing of candidates and they also provide and ensure necessary training and materials for employees. For operations director, the responsibility is to ensure employees are equipped with the appropriate tools and equipment to perform their functions and they also ensure products are manufactured in a manner which reduces cost yet aligns with quality standards and consistency. And the last one, sales club. Their responsibility is to process sales transaction and also replace stock on the shelves and display. So here we are. In this slide, the vision standard Dutch Lady constantly developing to strengthen their position as the leading dairy company in the world. In the world. So here we know that Dutch Lady want to be the most outstanding dairy companies in the world. And here, for the mission of Dutch Lady, Dutch Lady is still continuing in innovating to nourish with the most high quality daily nutrition to help society move forward in life. So we know here, Dutch Lady pay attention in improving their dairy. Means Dutch Lady want to ensure that Malaysians have a good and high quality dairy to help them move forward in life so I will start explaining about selling plan first as we can see here we uh, it divide into three categories which policy procedure and rules so I will explaining about policy first compass code of conduct which provide the basic principle of integrity respect and transparent business behavior of the company and its employees in all the business here we know why the company had this policy in their company and one of the reasons is to avoid some unhealthy activities such as corruption, manipulation and many activities again that will bring inefficiency to companies and lead to bankruptcy and next procedure speak up procedure in which employees are encouraged to report mismanagement without worry or favor with the establishment of the speak up Dutch lady encourage their employees to speak up in any aspect that happen in company so they can improve the management based on the feedback and the comment by the employees. So here I will explain about the rules. Dutch lady will comply with all compliance in all aspects in which the organization operates even if those obligations and regulations are not to reply and force. So here 
it means that Dutch lady that this rule is strictly the need to be obeyed to make sure rule to make sure the company doesn't break any rules in the process of producing diary. So I will move to the next slide. In this slide, it will explain about the single use plan and divide into two categories which program and budget. So firstly I will explain about the program first. In 2019, through the LMI work, Dutch Lady met one event called World School Meet Day by partnering with the Ministry, Ministry of Education. So this program designed to encourage children to take enough dairy, especially from Dutch Lady, to make sure the children have enough nutrition on themselves. Last but not least, next I will explain about the budget. RM19 million has been allocated for certain events such as My Fit program, the National Sport Day and Inspire program. As we can see, budget here to ensure the company be able to doing all these events for encourage society to join and gain benefit from it. Our next point, organizing. Organization structure. Organizational structure is a system that outlines how certain activities are directed to achieve the goal of an organization. These activities can include rules, roles, and responsibilities. It also determines how information flow between levels within the company to enable the company to remain efficient and focused. Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad use a functional organizational structure in the board of director. This is to help them with the task of leading and managing the company in an effective and responsible manner. Functional organizational structure usually used by a larger company that employ multiple people with similar roles. They tend to bring them together in the team to help the company to achieve their goal. Thus, the company are using the wide span of management and flat structure of hierarchy. Apart from the board of directors, the management team also has the same functional structure. Functional organizational structure advantage and disadvantages. The expert in job function because the departmentation is based on function performed. But they are slow in decision making because there are so many departments need to be go through before decision can be made. And it's easy to supervise because each department has a different role. But it's difficult to monitor because every department performance monitoring is different because of their different in role. Next, part of department. The board of, the board of director is the top manager, while the management team is the middle manager. And supervisor is the first line manager and the employees are the non-manager personally. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Shazan Shafiq Bin Zakri and I'm holding metric number 20-22-643-406 and I'll be talking about locus of decision making. To kick it off, we're going to talk about the definition. What is the decision, what is decision making? It's a process to select the best option out of all to solve the problem. There are four characteristics of decision making certainty, uncertainty, risk, and ambiguity. I will start with certainty, whereby there is sensible information necessary for the decision maker to know the result that will come out even before making the decision. As for uncertainty, there is not, there is not enough information available for the, decision, for the decision maker to identify the problem and predict the outcome. Risk The decision maker can roughly guess the possibilities of certain results in accordance with their own experience. Ambiguity The objective is difficult to accomplish as there is no information available to exactly figure out the outcome. There are two types of decision making, 
a program decision making and a non-program decision making. A program decision making can be said as a methodical strategy practice to encounter scenarios that have taken place before. For instance, Dutch Lady Milk Industries Berhad are guided by Compass as to ensure the safety and the quality of the products at all times. Meanwhile, a non-program decision making can be interpreted as a temporary maneuver in response to overcome unfamiliar situation. To point it out, as to accomplish company's objective, Dutch Lady Milk Industries Bahad contributed more than 160,000 packs of milk to help the less fortunate people and frontliners to get better nutrition during MCO. Dutch Lady Milk Industries Bahad needs to have functional and flexible personnel as to ensure any circumstances that occurred within the organization can be sorted out swiftly. The motivation of employees in Dutch Lady is better than FNN. This is because Dutch Lady provides a working environment characterized by fairness, respect, and integrity. Moreover, Dutch Lady always ensures workplace risks are effectively managed, which aim to provide a safer and better workplace to employees. They also provide open two-way communication channels to all employees through various activities and platforms. For example, the monthly meetings are held to inform all employees of goings on the company. And in conclusion, when the employees' motivation increasing, their royalty towards the business increasing and cause their productivity increasing as well. And this can be mean that it can bring long-term benefits of the company. First and foremost, the levels of management for the Dutch Lady Company is for the managing director is Ramjit Kaur Birik and the sales director is, is Wilson Chua. Then the marketing director is Imun Lim and the customer supply chain associate director is Tan Poh Lian. After that, the corporate affairs director is Muhammad Abdul Hadi Abdullah and the finance director is Aaron Neighbor. Moreover, the program director is Sender Janmaat and the human resource director is Anjali Menon. Last but not least, the Mac associate director is Paul Silen. The next slide is about leading. Leading is about motivating and directing the members of the organization so that they contribute to the achievement of the goals of the organization. It is crucial for every organization to have this part to make sure each of the employees know what their task is so the organization can run smoothly. There are a few types of management leadership theories and each of them have their own pros and cons. The Dutch Lady Company decided to use the Path Goal Theory. The path goal theory states that a leader's traits and behaviors could directly affect the satisfaction, motivation, and performance of their team members. For example, when a sales leader sets a high goal for the number of sales a team must make in one day, the leader builds up the team's confidence during the sales event, encourages and supports each employee to do their best to reach the high sales goal they set. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Hanafi and today I'll be presenting the fourth functions of management which is controlling. Controlling is one of the most essential functions of management as it ensures the quality and quantity of work performance in completing plans and achieving organizational goals. Control is a process which by managers evaluate company's activities to make them consistent with expectation to help them achieve goal set. In other words, control can be defined as ensuring that organizational activities are carried out according to plan. So there are three types of control that Dutch Lady Build Industries highlights in the management, which are fit for control, concurrent control, and feedback control. Let's get into each control in detail. Firstly is fit for control. Fit forward control involves identifying and preventing problems in an organization before they arise. Fit forward control is useful towards Dutch Lady Milk industry because it allows managers to effectively plan work. 
They can first control resources such as employees, raw materials, and capital. This means that future problems can be avoided. These are the examples of Dutch lady building industries fit for control. First is health and hygiene of cows. To prevent low quality of milk production, the cows in farming households are being raised in cool, every bun, fed with premium grass, and given at least 16 hours of rest each day. The farmers give cows a lot of love on a regular basis and keep a close eye on their health and hygiene. Farming households have been steadily increased quality controls of milk production by implementing appropriate dairy farming methods adhering to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations recommendations. Second is cleanliness of milk equipment. All milking equipment needs to be clean, sterilized, and dried before the process of milking. The raw milk is kept in aluminum cans after the milking process and transported as quickly as possible to fresh milk cooling facilities before the process of turning them into the actual product to prevent bacterial contamination. Next is concurrent control. Concurrent control entails squatting and stopping issues as they emerge in an organization. This implies that systems are continuously monitored. It begins with standards and all employee activities are measured against the standard. This implies that products can be examined as they are created to guarantee that the only best products are created. Coin current control is significant since it occurs in real time. These are the examples of coin current control of Dutch Lady Milk Industries. Firstly, is recombination process to prevent milk spoiling from oxygen. Recombined milk products are created by mixing milk fat and milk solids non fat with or without water to mimic the consistency of natural milk. Secondly, is a septic packaging to prevent spoiling from microorganisms. A septic packing is a technique that keeps sterile milk products fresh by placing them in an septic tank. Then, it is sealed using a continuous process that offers a great degree of operational flexibility as well as strong microbiological contamination resistance. In addition, a septic packaging makes it possible to package milk in an adaptable container that does not need to be refrigerated and may be easily transported in locations where refrigeration is not easily accessible. Lastly is feedback control. Feedback control is a process that managers can use to evaluate how effectively the team meets the standard goal at the end of a production process. Feedback control evaluates the team's progress by comparing the output of the team was planning on producing to what was actually produced. Every year, the Sledi Milk Industry analyzes their production and profit to maintain their unrivaled position as a top brand in the dairy sector. With the help of nutritionists, they are able to perform collective control when new products will be run through a lab test. By doing this, they are able to identify if there are defects on any product before launching. Nutritionists will also provide reliable information to consumers through nutritional facts attached to each unit of product. Consumers may benefit indirectly from this by obtaining complete information regarding the product that they want to consume. This can also prevent the dissemination of false information to customers, which can also lead to consumers developing a poor opinions on the products. Got to kick.